Hey everybody, we are talking hard squashes today. It is coming into the winter season and hard squashes are everywhere and you can find them at your local farmer's market um, from your local farmer as well as usually locally in the grocery stores as well. And they're amazing. If you haven't had hard squash, I encourage you to go ahead and try it. Most everyone has had butternut squash or acorn squash. Um, spaghetti squash is another popular one as well, but I'm gonna stick with the other hard squashes for now. So butternut and acorn, super common. Everybody buys those. I personally feel like they're a bit of a gamble because I've had them when they've been really good, really sweet, and then I've had them when they've been completely flavorless. So I usually stay away from butternut squash and uh, acorn just for that reason because I just never know if I'm going to get a good one or not. Some of the other squashes, super fun to just experiment and see what you find. So um, this is a delicata. If you've never had a delicata, it's amazing. And what I did here, I sliced up the delicata and I'm going to just pop this into the oven. I'm going to roast it on 375 for about 15 to 20 minutes and I'm just gonna eat it just like that. I did take a little bit of coconut oil and I rubbed it on my hands like I was putting lotion on, so just that much, and I rubbed that over the delicatas because it's a really dry squash. It doesn't have a whole lot of water content at all. It has super tons of flavor. But because it's so dry, I don't want it to dry out in the oven. So I just have a, just a little layer of coconut oil on there. So be careful about how much oil you're using. And then I took the seeds and I um, pulled the seeds out and they just came out in you know little plops like that. And those are going into a pot with a whole bunch of coconut oil because I'm gonna fry those babies. And um, keep the pulp in there. Don't try to take the pulp out. I remember as a kid, my mom used to make me separate all the pumpkin seeds when we carved pumpkins from the pulp. There couldn't be one ounce of pulp anywhere. <laughs> and then we would roast the seeds. Little did we, realize that the pulp has so much nutrition. So get the pulp in there, just fry them, add a little salt, I'm gonna go, I'll pat those off when I'm done and I'll have those as a nice nourishing stack, snack. The nice thing about these, these squashes is I consider them comfort food. So I went on a really long hike yesterday, I did yoga, hot, intense vinyasa yoga, again this morning, I'm going on another walk tonight and I'm really hungry today. So I know I did not get enough calories yesterday um, or today even. And so this is gonna help to satisfy my hunger without sending me into some binge of, uh, of junk food, which I don't really have in my house anyway. But um, anyway, so the different squashes, so the delicatas, you'll love that one. And again, you could slice it. These are about half inch slices. You could slice them thinner if you wanted to. I like them about that. <clears throat> this one, my uh, farmer called it a buttercup. It is to die for. Now, along also with the butternut squash is it's really high in water content. So, um, and you might not think so, but when you're trying to make pie out of it or something where you're trying to get all of the water out, it does make a difference. This is super low water content. So I have a feeling this one is going to make an amazing pie. And I'm gonna make pie with this probably in a week or so. Um, I just have some things coming up, so I'll probably, maybe this weekend I'll do it. But um, this is so good. It was, and also I, I, I have no scientific evidence to back this up, but I think the less water in it just increases the sugar. So you're getting the natural sugars. So please don't, when you take these babies and you, you bake them, don't adulterate them with butter and brown sugar and maple syrup. Like you're taking this beautifully nutritious vegetable and then just putting all this garbage on it. So it defeats the whole purpose. And it's okay to eat these. They are gonna be higher in carbohydrates. But you know, like I said, when you're active and you need the carbohydrates, go for it. If you're, so, if you're not active, you're super inactive, um, then you know, you might want to think twice. However, this is really like, this is super food right here. And it should keep you from derailing and, and going off into the weeds and eating something that is comfort food. Like, I don't know, you know, Doritos and, and dip. I don't know. Anyway, so this one, um, the farmer called it a sugar cube and they said it's very much on par with this guy. And I haven't had this one yet. So I'm really excited to try this. And uh, I only bought one because I wasn't sure if it was gonna be a gamble too. And, uh, and if I like it, then I'll go back and get more. But um, 
I'd love to hear your thoughts, what, you, what kind of hard squashes you like, if that was helpful. Also, don't forget, save those seeds. And one other tip too, I make a lot of um, squash soup in the winter. And when, what I do, I have a Vitamix, a really high powered blender. If you don't have a Vitamix, it is the number one best kitchen tool I think you can have. And so what I do after I bake the squash, I throw the whole thing in the Vitamix, seeds and all, seeds, skin, the whole shot. Because those seeds, there's so much great omegas in the seeds. And so, you know, I could eat it, I could roast them and eat them like that. But again, sometimes it's a pain to try to scoop them out, even just to do that. So I would take them, throw them in the Vitamix, mix everything in there, and then I make my soup out of that. So now I'm getting these beautiful, healthy fats in my soup. I did a squash soup out of this guy last week, and I sauteed uh, peppers from the market, onions, and um, um, garlic, and grass-fed beef, and then I blended my butternut squash, or my um, this buttercup squash, and I mixed it all together, and I added curry and some coconut milk, and a little more salt and pepper, and oh my gosh, it was amazing. So love that little bit of grass-fed beef in there. Again, just some good healthy fats and um, and some good protein in there as well. And it was, it, it did not need any sweetener. So don't add sugar until you taste them, and then don't add sugar. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. would love to hear more about what you like for squashes. Remember, like, subscribe to this page for more tips on nutrition and healthy living, and um, would love to hear what your thoughts are on hard squashes. Okay, see you soon.